somebody had asked you about uh, the pictures that are out now. There's Star Wars, Close Encounters, and so forth, and they ask you what you thought. And you thought that they should be, maybe they should deal a little closer with scientific facts. Yeah, my, my sense of them <coughs> is that sort of the 11-year-old in me loved them, but uh, they, uh, they could have made uh, a better effort to to do things right. Uh, a lot of a lot of different aspects of things. Starts out saying it's on some other galaxy. Right. And then you see there's people. And uh, scene, starting in scene one, there's a, there's a problem because human beings are the result of a unique evolutionary sequence based upon right. so many individually unlikely random events on the Earth. Are you saying on another galaxy? Uh, it's not possible that there could be... It's extremely unlikely that uh, there would be creatures as similar to us as, uh, as the dominant ones in Star Wars. And there's a whole bunch of other things. They're all white. The skin of uh, all the humans in, uh, in Star Wars, oddly enough, is sort of like, like this. Right. And uh, They did have a scene in Star Wars with a lot of strange characters. Yeah, but none of them seem to be in charge of the galaxy. Everybody in charge of the galaxy seemed to look like us. <laughs> <laughs> and... I, I thought there was a large amount of human chauvinism in it. Also, I felt very bad that at the end, the Wookiee didn't get a medal also. Mm. All, all, all the people got medals, and the Wookiee who had been in there fighting all the time, he didn't get any medal. And I thought that was an example of anti-Wookiee discrimination. <laughs> You're dissecting this scientifically, Carl, taking all the fun out of it for me.